Born in the Bay Area, the next global success of Silicon Valley. How some describe the newest artificial intelligence developed by San Francisco-based OpenAI ChatGPT. We should embrace it. My kids are using it. Your kids are using it. Schools and universities are going to use it. This is where the U.S. should go run ahead. We already have the lead. The latest versions of the AI chatbot has trillions of pieces of data to pull from to do almost anything from taxes, app creation, logical reasoning, and much more. ISERA co-founder Madhu Sudhakar uses it to help his customers and believes it can benefit all. It's going to lift everybody. It's going to lift people from poverty. If I'm in IT support, customer service, I don't have to do the mundane repetitive task. It's going to create new forms of creativity for people to build applications. It'll create new startups new jobs societies will improve powerful so much power in fact that even open ai ceo sam altman shared with abc news that he has his hesitations people should be happy that we're a little bit scared of this i think people should be you're happy. a little bit scared a little bit yeah, you personally course. if i said i were not you should either not trust me or be very unhappy i'm in this job but fear is not limited to him italy announced they are temporarily banning the latest version of chat gpt over privacy concerns due to the software's ability to pull information without permission a goldman sachs survey meanwhile said it will lead to the loss of 300 million jobs all this while tech leaders voiced other worries about economic social and mental issues with ai saying companies developed powerful digital minds that no one, not even their creators, can understand, predict, or reliably control. This in an open letter signed by dozens, including Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, and San Jose State Engineering Professor Ahmed Banafa. This is just just incredible to get to the stage where we're talking about we are worried about the AI. An expert and proponent of AI, Banafa says this artificial intelligence has surpassed that of the human mind, and that's what makes it dangerous. He and other experts in the letter want AI companies to pause advancement of the technology for six months and create an independent committee to control its capabilities. We're not saying don't do it. We're saying slow it down. Let's think about it because you're giving too much power to a machine or to an algorithm that start picking the data and sell. We know about the good part. We don't know about the bad part of this wave of AI. In the South Bay, Dustin Dorsey, ABC7 News.